Good afternoon, everyone. So uh, Zoelle had started us off uh, with uh, a chant. I need your help, though, to make sure that the mayor hears it, too. D.C. is? Open. D.C. is? Open. Great. I'm John Falcicchio, Deputy Mayor for Planning and Economic Development, and welcome. Uh, we are excited to be here today because uh, what we're doing today is we're starting a new campaign, uh, and you see the signs around us that you know Washington now experience D.C., so this is really all about uh, getting folks to come to D.C., to stay here, uh, to visit, to enjoy all the great events that we have coming up this summer, uh, and really to enjoy not just the Washington, that's the National Mall, but the neighborhoods so that people experience D.C. Is that worth celebrating? Great. So we're going to uh, talk about some of the things we want to highlight that are coming up uh, over these next couple of weeks. But the reason why we want people to come is not just for the experience that they'll have, but for the jobs that it supports, right? So it supports DC residents getting back to work. So let's give that a round of applause as well. And the person who's gonna make sure, who's led us through these last 16 months, who's gonna make sure that we, our comeback is like no other comeback around the country, is our mayor, Mayor Muriel Bowser. Let's go. Right, Hello, DC. Hello, D.C. It's fantastic to see everybody, and I just want everybody to put on their big smiling faces and tell the whole wide world that D.C. is open. I want to give you a big thank you, because for the last 16 months, you did exactly what I asked you to do. You made a lot of sacrifices, and because of that, we are crushing this virus. I gotta ask you to do one more thing. Get vaccinated. Who's vaccinated? Because when we get vaccinated, we stay safe and we stay open. All right, I know I'm talking to somebody out there. I'm talking to you. I'm also telling a couple of other people to get a friend or a family member and get them what? vaccinated because when we all get vaccinated we can stay open and guess what the kids can go back to school and everybody wants the kids to go back to school let's give a big hand to our ward one council member brianna doe give brianna a big round of applause we are in the great ward one right now and we're celebrating all eight wards as we celebrate how we get this city back open uh, and we want the world to know, of course, we're the nation's capital. Of course, they can come and see the White House and the Capitol and the absolutely free Smithsonian Museums and the mon wonderful monuments and memorials and get on the best transit system in the world and be safe. We know all of that, right? But what we'll, we want them to know is about the beautiful 700,000 Washingtonians here. We want them to know about all eight wards, the wonderful culture of Washington, D.C. that is go-go music, Ben's Chili Bowl, wonderful art, the Kennedy Center. We want them to know about all of those things. We also want them to know that as they think about travel this summer, they don't have to go to Florida and stand in line and get on a crowded train. They can do that anytime. This summer, we want them to get in their car or get on the metro and discover D.C. and experience D.C. We want to tell all the people in Philadelphia, that town's fine, but why not come down to D.C. and visit us for a while? And when you come, stay a few days. We want to tell them, you don't have to go to some other state to see the waterfront. We have the Potomac and Anacostia Rivers right here in D.C. And you know about our beautiful hotels? Tell them, Stacy. <laughs> Guess what they have? Pools. They have sun. They have wonderful drinks. Great food. And you can do it where? Right here in D.C. You might live in Northwest, Southeast, and decide you want to have a staycation where? In D.C. Because D.C. is open. 
this is what we're here to talk about. And while I'm talking about a lot of fun and games, oh, I didn't mention the games. You know we're at the sports capital, right? You like that, Mark? You like that? Mark Honest brought back the city open to have world-class tennis in where? D.C. And we can experience that right up in Northwest. We have our wonderful soccer team that's going to bring soccer from around the world. Let's hear it for D.C. United. Danita, thank you for bringing soccer around the world. And, of course, we have our championship Washington Nationals. I still call them the championship Washington Nationals. And we're going to have a big celebration. And we have a lot to celebrate. Uh, our nation, together, with a lot of sacrifice, is crushing this virus, especially in our region, where D.C., Maryland, and Virginia have 70% of the adults with one vaccine shot. We're going to work on the kids, right, D.C.? But we have 70% of the adults already there. So that means when you travel to this region, when you travel to D.C., there's so much that you can experience and experience safely. That's why we're having the nation's birthday celebration on July 4th. President Biden has announced that the nation's, the nation's fireworks are going to happen on July 4th. Now, July 4th is what, a Sunday? Why don't you come on Thursday? Come to where? D.C. So you can get ready to celebrate, experience our restaurants, hotels, our waterfronts, our neighborhoods. See your family. Gather together. It's been a long time. We have a lot of, to celebrate. A lot of people have some money jingling around in their pocket. Can't take it with you. So let's celebrate together. Celebrate our town. And when we do this, I started to say this, because it's not all about fun and games, but our hospitality industry generates how much money, Greg O'Dell? Billions of dollars for D.C. residents. Our hospitality industry supports thousands of jobs. People want to get back to work earning good pay, and you can earn a good pay in hospitality in Washington, D.C. And that's important to all of us because all of those revenues, they allow us to invest in schools and invest in affordable housing to make sure that we can stay competitive with any jurisdiction in this region. And it helps us continue to make the case for the 51st state that is Washington. 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 All right, guys, I'm counting on you. Have some fun this summer. All right. And now it's my pleasure. When I, when I, if you look up D.C. in the dictionary, you might see this lady because she knows a thing or two about the good times, the bad times, and the, the good times again. Uh, she's my friend. She is the matriarch of Ben's Chili Bowl. Uh, and I assure you this, she is open. Virginia Ali. This is so exciting. For the, since March of 2020, we've struggled, we've been confined, we've had to take our hours down, decrease them tremendously, binge chili bowl. But I want to say, first of all, thank you to this amazing mayor that has wow. led us through this pandemic. She made it easy for us to get our tests, to get tested, to get the vaccinations, and we just have to continue that. We've got 70% done. It doesn't take that much to get the rest of it done. Right. We've got Skeeter over here. He'll do it for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but this has been an amazing experience. This has been the biggest challenge we've faced here at Ben's Chili Bowl. And I've seen many, many challenges over the years. And I have to say thank you to D.C. and thank you to that community we have and to our D.C. government for supporting us through this difficult time. I remember when the reporter said we're struggling and we're on the brink, Ben Chilibo is on the brink. We got the letters from all over the country, but mostly from D.C. saying we don't want anything to happen to Ben, so we're going to give you a check, $25, $50, $100, $500, $1,000. We were able to take that money 
and make box lunches and feed Howard University's hospital staff. The Washington, the Washington Hospital Center, we did over 5,000 lunches, and even protesters, and last but not least, the National Guard. So, D.C., thank you, and D.C. is open! Yes, open, right! We are ready. We are the most beautiful city in the world. Yes, exactly. We've got everything you need here. And we don't have earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes. We only have a little humidity. That's all we got. Yeah. <laughs> so, and the Chili Bowl, of course, is open, and this whole city is wide open and waiting for you. Waiting for you. Please come. Please come. Thank you so much. <laughs> Well, you heard it. DC is open. Any questions? Any questions from the press? Press questions? It's one second. One second. Okay, I'll call you in one second. Press questions, then community. Yes, sir. Hey, right here. I'm Nick Minock with 7 News. How are you, Mayor? Great, thank you. Well, hey, that view from the big bus was beautiful. The I know view, you're. Yes, <laughs> let, let, thank you for mentioning the big bus. You, you want to get around and see how open we are, get a ticket and get on the big bus. <laughs> and I understand that you're encouraging domestic travel here to D.C. When are you going to open up D.C. to international travel? When are you going to encourage those tourists to come here? Well, we encourage all tourists to come here who are able to do so safely. Now, controlling the borders and international travel, that's outside of my uh, uh, pay grade right now. Uh, so what, what we need to focus on and what our great destination, D.C., who you heard from on, on the bus, what they do every day is study our travelers and promote our destination. Uh, and what we want to invest these precious dollars in, this is a big ad buy for us, is making sure we're hitting the people who are most likely to come this summer. Uh, and then we want them to spread the word for the rest of the year. And yesterday we caught up with you right after the Senate committee hearing on D.C. statehood. I uh, want to get your thoughts on Senator... I want to get your thoughts on Senator Ron Johnson's line of questioning on Tuesday. Uh, you had responded to one of his questions by saying there was one night of riots here in D.C. Um, we saw multiple nights of violence in D.C. Are you still standing by what you said there was one night? I don't stutter. Yeah. I speak English, and I'm very plain. That's my answer. That's your uh, answer. What we know, unfortunately, uh, among thousand probably hundreds of hours of peaceful protests we saw a band of people who took advantage of that and participated in looting uh, and our police department was very aggressive in trying to find them and hold them accountable but there was multiple nights of violence in dc just one nights of riots you're saying i, I answered your question this is about tourism. Mayor, yes mark mayor bowser you spoke of the hospitality industry yep. offering a good living in light of that, what are your thoughts of the renewed effort to increase the minimum wage for tipped employees? This was passed by D.C. voters in a referendum. The council overturned it. It's coming back. They want to try to get it back on the uh, 2022 primary ballot. What are your thoughts about this renewed effort, and do you support increasing the minimum wage to $15 an hour for tipped employees? Um, Mark, I think you know my, my position, um, and I think that restaurant tours and workers uh, in a pandemic economy have experienced uh, a, a different uh, reality, um, and I think that I need to know a little bit more about that reality. What I know is in a non-pandemic economy uh, that restaurant workers in D.C. on average make much more um, than $15 an hour just follow up the tipped employees go way beyond restaurant workers we're talking about parking lot attendants beauty salon workers there are a lot of people in the hospitality industry included who work for then tips they, beyond they, then restaurants. they already get the then they yeah. already get the minimum wage the minimum wage in dc is already 15 dollars. not for tipped employees and so it's beyond restaurant workers it's not just restaurant workers who, who well work i don't have tips. anything else to say about that mark so you don't support increasing your stand by i said what i said was we have a, in the pandemic economy, we don't have any, I don't have any basis to make a comment on a new proposal. That's, I don't even know if it is a new proposal. Yes, any, th any other questions? Yes, go ahead, ma'am. Hey, I like to say I love DC, but I love my son, Toronto, 
Yep. I'm good. I got I'm it. Asking you, woman to woman, when your officers that protect me see chase and kill my child, nothing came from you. Woman to woman, Bowser, I'm asking you. You said nothing. You showed no remorse. You did nothing for our community, for our city. You're asking these people to come to DC. Absolutely. Chased by your officers, I'm asking you, what is going on with my son? Sh- sure, ma'am. And let me first. Well, Miss Miss Hilton, I'm happy to talk to you about the specifics of your son's case. You can. I'm going. I, I, I will have to pull you to the okay. side and get you the information that you need, Ms. Hilton, okay? And I'm happy to do that. All right, I'll do that. But Yeah, but I think you know there's been a lot of developments in your son's case, okay? And so, well, I'll make sure. Sh- well, that's Ms. Ms. Hilton, you know that's not true. No, that's not true. No, that's not. You know very well that's not true. Okay, any other questions for us? Yeah. I'm good. I got it. Go ahead, sir. Uh huh. Uh, uh, I think the program broke is very uh, 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 engaging, and I, I just want to thank you. Thank you. Lord, because it gave me a second chance, and I, I want to thank Good. you. Good. And it's more to come. Yeah. What's like more to that. come? Good. That's right. That's it's more to come. So what I should have mentioned uh, is also that the budget proposal is a big budget proposal. Um, it's big for hospitality. It's big for job training. It's big for t- people who are returning home. The council has our budget. They're going to be voting on it, and you let them know we need to reopen. We need to reopen strong. Uh, in that investment, uh, council member, we lost her. Uh, is important. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.